Certainly this morning you want to avoid this area if at all possible. And this is going to have obviously consequences if you're going to or from the airport this morning as well. So if you have travel plans this morning, certainly you're going to have to take an alternate route. And you can see some of those uh, cars looking like they're trying to get off on one of the exits right here. I believe we have a chopper pilot, Bill Dreamer, right now. Bill, what are you seeing from your perspective from the chopper this morning? Obviously a huge backup. Yes, uh, good morning, and uh, you are correct. The, the issue here is this is westbound uh, Waterson, and this is where the folks have to make that merge to uh, either go to south or north I-65 right here by the airport. You can see that ramp is shut down, and these folks, um, I'm, I'm surprised they're just sitting there as though they're thinking they're going to open that ramp. Um, most of these folks uh, probably should just go ahead and move over to the next lane to the left and make an alternate route because it looks like this is going to be closed for some time. As we lift the camera there, you can see that, that ramp that goes from the airport uh, over to the uh, uh, expo center. Uh, just beyond that is where this uh, individual was, uh, was struck on the, uh, on the road there. And so the, the area where they have the interstate closed down is about a half mile back to the west. And it looks like it's going to be here quite some time this morning as they investigate this. Back to you. Okay, so again, thank you so much, Chopper Pilot Bill Dreamer, who's giving us that live perspective this morning from the Waterson Eastbound in the area of Interstate 65.